Hey everyone, good morning here from PA. I'm sorry for the MIA. I have been fighting a cold and I'm still overcoming it, but I wanted to come on here and show you the quick changes that I did in my boho bedroom. So if that interests you, please keep watching. All right, guys. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not welcome back, thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you to my new subscribers who want to come along this journey on YouTube with me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you love fashion, lifestyle, and beauty, I would love for you to join my journey here on YouTube and hit that notification bell and that like everything that YouTube loves. And let's get with this video. Okay. So you guys remember this comforter. I don't remember when I shared it. It was a, a while back. This is the Dark Rose Modern Threads. You guys know I love the Modern Threads line. It's just so beautiful. This is, if you're looking for that bohemian feel in your room, that boho chic, that um, cozy, relaxing, casual vibe, you're going to love this. Now, it does look a little wrinkled, but that's how it goes. This is um, Dark Rose. So what I had to do, guys, this is not the one that I had on before. I actually had it to get another one because I forgot to wet it before drying it and I burned it and shrunk it. So don't do that um, because it was in my basement, you know, stored away nicely, but I wanted it to be a little bit more fresher and, you know, if anything crawled on it or something, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this video. Um, so what I did is I put these pillows on and I'm just going to show you guys some new things that I added and I did have this in a light green up if you guys have been watching me you guys remember that but I did change that because I wanted something more um you know I want it to feel um like you know just have more of those warm neutral you know that warm neutral palette in my bedroom I'm sorry <laughs> So that's what I was going for. And I just think the aesthetics look really good. So let's start down here. Okay, everything's the same here. I just put my faux fur pillow here and I'm going to have everything linked down below what I can find for you guys. So another thing is I use a dust ruffle on my bed because I have my um, spring and summer shoe storage under there. <laughs> um <clears throat> And if you store things under your bed and you use a dust ruffle, I would say you're fine with a full queen, I mean a queen, but if not, you want to go up a size with your, you would want to go up a size with your bed in. Sorry, my camera did something weird. Okay, so this is what I did differently. I got these pictures, it is well with my soul. And you guys remember I had my white ones hanging here. Let me get a little closer. And I just have it hung up with a vine. From Dollar Tree over my straw hat and these were six dollars yep six bucks so this is what inspired me to do the room differently is with these pictures these are beautiful peachy pink um, sea foam green color with some black writing and it's just beautiful and it's such a great reminder for me and I just still have my Monasteria plant. That's another thing if you're trying to decorate boho. Boho, of what boho, yeah, I'm like boho decor is, it's just bringing those treasures in your home, either from traveling or flea markets or thrift stores or hand-me-downs, um, a lot of texture, a lot of pattern, a lot of color, or you can do the neutral vibe like I do. I don't like bright colors in my bedroom. It will just keep me up <laughs> so I don't do that um but yeah and then a lot of natural fibers and you know like baskets like I have here this is a natural seagrass I got this from Walmart guys for six dollars and 71 cents real seagrass beautiful a beautiful seagrass basket for a really good price so you want to look for some baskets real plants fake plants um, pothos, mon monsteria, snake plants, succulents, spider plants, um, pompous grass, things like that, like natural fibers, things from outdoors, you know, which is a really big thing. And then faux fur. 
which is my faux fur carpet. I didn't have to buy anything. This was here. And this is, you know, brings a lot of texture. This is a really nice throw. But I will say with this throw, I have not used it to cover myself over with yet. So I am thinking more. I'm going to be looking on Target for a chunkier one for the winter months. Because sometimes I like to just you know, lay on my bed and watch TV and, you know, some of my favorite YouTubers like Tina's Midlife, Nancy Ann's Unboxings and so forth. Um, Robin's Closet, you know, but, and sometimes I want to just snuggle up and take a nap. So this, I'm not really sure if that will do the trick for me, but yeah, so I'm just throwing that out there. So that's what I did differently. So I hung that picture. Then over here, this was on my other side of the wall, Worry Less, Smile More. I just changed that up and put that there. And this is crooked. This is just um, a flat, I mean, a little greenery. I don't know why it's looking like that. Eh, that's nice. It's not crooked, though. It's very strange. But anyway, I um, now it's crooked. Barbara, what are you doing? Um, ha <clears throat> <clears throat> ha. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys. All right. I got it together. All right. So I put that there. And if you're new to my channel, this is Pebbles. Say hi, Pebbles. And mommy, I'm tired. I do a lot of shorts with her. So stay tuned for those. <laughs> and this is just my closet. I have, I have a, you know, my shoes that I use for my seat, you know, the season of fall and winter. And I did purge a lot Oh my gosh, this whole entire, almost two weeks I haven't been on YouTube. I purged and purged. I got rid of so many things. I got these bins from Dollar Tree. Then I just used a little chalk marker and, and put what's in each one. <clears throat> and if you are new to my channel, <clears throat> my channel is about shopping on a budget either in your closet or out in the stores and looking classy and chic at any age. I am 49. But I do have a lot of younger viewers, so it's for any age. Um, in order to bloom, you must grow. This is new to my collection. I got this from Walmart. I believe it was $4.47 or $3.97. I love canvas art. It just looks so natural and beautiful. So I put that there. Down here, this is um, my newer pillow that goes with my um, bedding that I just got. So I have my second one for my other one. And then over here, this is still the same. And this is a really beautiful globe lamp. And it looks like it's cracked glass, but it's not. And it has beautiful seashells in it. It lights up. Dollar Tree candle, Dollar Tree holder. This is new. My hubby got me this. Hello, beautiful. And it's the whole collection from Dollar General with that picture I just showed you guys. And I also got this. This is a macrame hanging, five bucks at Dollar General. Like I said, I will link what I can find. This is new to my collection. Look at this. Look at these curtains. These are a blush pink, peachy pink. You guys know I've been looking for a peachy pink blush. I did have one, but it was too pink. I like pink, but I'm not a pink girl, pink girl, but I do love blush. And I do like some color pinks. But look at these beautiful curtains, guys. Look at this crush. This is like a, you know, it's called crushed. And it's beautiful. It just looks like it's been crushed, like you've been, you know. So when they come out of the package, don't think you have to iron them because you don't. But they look so beautiful against the light. It keeps the light out of the room, but it's it, it doesn't keep it out totally. But it gives it that warm, you know, that warm, neutral um, lighting that I want it. Okay. Up here is just my TV. I have a really big, huge one. <laughs> Okay, so up here, I still have those pictures, okay? So your pictures don't have to match, but they have to go. So as you can see in my pictures here, they have a lot of the seafoam greens, a lot of different greens that I'm carrying through the room, um, the rustic um, framing and everything, and the whitewash backgrounds, and they all go beautiful. Now on this side of the room, <clears throat> down here, I just have two pillows. And that's another thing with Bohemian decor. You want to have a lot of pillows, a lot of seating areas. People come in your room and sit down. It's supposed to be like a relaxing, you know, eclectic, you know, 
you know, design. So I have ottomans here. I have a velvet ottoman. So my mom comes over, she sits, you know, and you can get like, um, you know, like lower ottomans, you know, uh, um, poofs, which I'm going to be getting one. I, I do want a poof. <laughs> so down here, um, this pillow, actually, I got this from Walmart. I love my bike pillow. That could just stay like that. But here is another seagrass basket. So I did have some decorative boxes down here, but I felt that it just wasn't given what I wanted. So for $6.71 though, Okay, so these are my plants, and he's a golden pothos. He's real. <laughs> and baskets, baskets, baskets. That's where your texture comes from. And then I have my snake plant over here. Isn't he beautiful? I love him. And his name's Faith. And then over here's same macrame hanging. Okay, so this is it on this side, and this is another one. Enjoy every moment. Six bucks, guys, six bucks. Look at these beautiful colors in here. Some terracottas, some pink, some peaches, some tans. Really, really pretty. It goes perfectly in the room, and it just looks like it's just... It's just like a vine, so that's what I have on both sides. So that's what I did differently. I hung those pictures. Another thing, pillows. So big in a bohemian bedroom or living room or, you know, a space. $4.97. I bought this at Walmart. Look at this. Blush, beigey, like creamy beige, and light browns and dark browns. Perfect for the bedroom. And as you can tell, this comforter is not blush, but it's dark rose. But look at how beautiful the colors play together. As long as they harmonize, and as long as when you're designing, you know, your room, you want to look for those colors in your pictures, in your throw, in your comforter, in your carpets. That's how you design a room. That's how it becomes more cohesive, more put together, and the aesthetics look better, okay? So over here, you guys saw this. I had this up my other comforter. I put it on, you know, I put it over here instead. And I'm just bringing it closer. Sorry, I have to spackle all that. But you know what? That's, this is a plastered wall, so it just looks like it's really old and worn, and that's okay. <laughs> But, um, okay, so over here, that was on the other side, so I just put that there. Look at how beautiful the aesthetics look. And then this is still the same, and you want to decorate with some bohemian beads, some wooden beads, and things that are old and things that are new is more modern boho, and as you can tell, and you want your room to tell a story, so like this treasure box, I gave this to my my eldest daughter for a birthday present one time with a gift card. She gave it back. Mom, I have no use for this. But it's still special to me because it was her birthday. And yeah, like these roses are just very vintage looking. I got these from a flea market years ago. And yeah, and I love Paris. I love everything Europe. And this I got from Walmart and this one Dollar Tree and this lamp my husband knew I wanted to decorate with that you know Paris vibe in the bedroom so he found this at Dollar General it's a Paris Eiffel Tower lamp unbelievable right okay let's go down now you guys have seen what was down here before and I will um link in the cards above what my room looks like before and you guys can see before and afters, but this is a large branch stick, whatever you want to call it, that my husband, you know, my husband loves fish, fish and fish tanks, and he got this for his fish tank, but then it wouldn't work, so he carved it out and gave it to me, and he just nailed it up for me, and I just love that natural texture in my room. So what I did is I added, I got this from a flea market, uh, um, uh, not a flea market, yard sale. And let me get closer. And this is like a gazebo, but I have all my earrings on it, like all my dangly earrings. 
And then I put my little bird here. This is very special to me. My daughter, Elizabeth, who's coming home from residential soon. She's supposed to be here on the 13th. Um, she um, is doing wonderful, so she'll be home soon. And she got that for me. She knows I love birds. And see how everything is telling a story? And then I have my bracelet holder here. I love pearls. They're one of my favorite, um, you know, beads, you know. I love love pearls and I got this at Amazon my husband had to glue it because it was breaking but now it's fixed this is new to my collection I will link it down below this is from Walmart look at this it's a three strand of pearls with a beautiful silver rhinestone um, clasp on three sides Isn't that beautiful six dollars and change I will link that over here are some seagrass makeup cases. Now, this is a trunk case. Now, tr train case. You guys have seen I had like a makeup collection here going. But what I didn't like about it is it just, I don't know, it was old. It needed to just go and it just looked messy. I like more cohesiveness and things that are just more streamlined. So this is beautiful. And this just has my everyday makeup and like some other ones that, you know, I might grab. And that's what I have on that. And you see what I did is I did some glam, right? I guess you can call it. And some rustic. So that's like a boho rustic, boho rustic vibes, right? And then down here, this is new. I got these at Dollar Tree. Look at these colors. Monsteria leaves with a little bit of um, spotted leopard. I don't know. But I just love this. And these were a dollar. And then the little candles inside, um, I paid a dollar for two of them. And they do light up. And then this is an easel that I bought from Dollar Tree. And this is from, uh, this picture is from Dollar General with that collection that I just Bought. and I just put it on an easel to give it a more laid-back feel this is my bike I love this when I was a little girl I had one with a basket and this tells a story to me you see so you want to have things in your room that tell a story if you are going for that bohemian look um, style and this is just all of my makeup and then down here, I did differently. I put my books and my journals and everything. You want to put books around, too. That just makes it look more vintage looking and, and old school, right? Old world and everything. And then here is all my eyeshadow palettes. This is a basket I had in. I got this at a thrift store. I had it in my bathroom. So I put, because I got rid of a lot of eyeshadow palettes because they were no good. And that's what I have. So over here what I did differently in my vanity okay guys I wanted a more rustic way to store my makeup brushes if you are shopping on a budget this is from Dollar Tree but I had it in my house from another plant these are for my eyeshadow brushes okay instead of spending so much money on rustic pencil holders and all that the rattan and and all that stuff my gosh they want like 20 something dollars for two of them you can DIY them, you can you know, put twine around them, everything. And then over here, I just have this, but I do love my glass pieces because this goes with my globe lamp that I showed you guys earlier. So this is just my vanity. Over here <clears throat> are more pictures. Home is the story of who we are and a collection of all the things we love. Isn't that so true? And then over here, happiness is homemade. And I love how the bowls are all balanced, right? And look at these beautiful faux leather straps on them. That's what I'm saying, guys. Six bucks. So I paid six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four dollars for four new pictures. And then I got that down there by my bike. That was three. So that's twenty-seven. And then I'm gonna show you my dresser. And then I have my jewelry hanging still. Like nothing has changed there, but just these pictures. And I just put them above the lamp 
and that's another thing when you're just decorating you want to at least go 59 to 60 inches from the ground from the floor up when you hang your pictures i want to make sure they're eye level so you don't have to lift your neck to look at your pictures <laughs> and that's how it's looking now over here i have more paris trunks i love these these have all my jeans in it i did get a question what do you keep in those these are all my jeans and i do keep some in bags because it keeps it better like it, it stores them um, more you know um, like compacted and here's my other curtain i think pretty okay this is my let me get a little farther away okay this is my dresser isn't that pretty now this is what i did differently let's come closer do you remember this tray was under my vanity while well, i moved it from the you know put the leaf one there here's another candle holder and this is another picture and it's different but they're all from the same collection guys so and then this is pompous grass it was like 12 something from walmart and this is a paris and this is a paris um uh jewelry box i have my jewelry on a little carousel here and these are some more seagrass baskets i picked these up they were a set of three for 18 and change this has all of my lipsticks and this has uh, like all of my pencils and stuff like that eyeliner lip liner all that good stuff i wanted my makeup to be stored away but i still wanted to have it on display if that makes sense and this is my hand i got this from a midnight velvet it's a boutique online and this is new this is willow tree if you guys love willow tree this was four box i love this and this just reminds me of me and my daughters you know i have two so this is you know their best friends and so and it was four bucks at a thrift store so are you seeing what i'm showing you guys everything is telling a story in my room right and i'm just showing you these beautiful bracelets i got these at this is coming up my walmart haul but let's just do a sneak peek Look at these, look at this tennis bracelet. It's on a lobster, lobster claw clasp. Beautiful, and I have a small wrist, so this is on a gold, gold medal, and it's just rhinestones, and it fits perfectly on me. Let me there you go. And it comes three in a set for 588, and this is your other one. They're just, um, let me just set them out and you could see them they're beautiful so those are definitely coming so i just put them in here and i love what this says forever it says let's see what does it say forever true um forever friends so yeah i love willow tree and yeah i'm waiting for a thinker um guy to come um, that's what they're called they're like a thinker statue because my husband says i'm i'm such an overthinker i overanalyze things and that's just the artistic you know you know the artistic uh way in me <laughs> but anyway but yeah so this is what i did let me bring it all back so you guys can get like a full view of the bedroom of what i did we can come closer you guys can really see so another thing is when you're decorating you want to decorate with odd numbers so when you're grouping things together you know you want to make sure that they're three seven nine five you know um but also you can do solo you know like i have the two pictures above the lamp but as you can tell i have the lamp there that's three so you know because that just makes it look better and so this is what i did let me know in your comments i love hearing from you guys i miss you guys <laughs> i'll be on real soon i'm getting a lot of other videos together for you guys but i didn't want you to think that i forgot about you guys so 
you know, it's so important to do self-care, right? And I think that's what happened is because I was getting ready for my daughter to come home. Not that she was burning me out or anything thinking about that. It's just that, you know, I wanted to have everything ready for her. I was getting her room done and I'm still doing that. And I had a lot of other things on my plate. Like I wanted to had things to purge. I had so many clothes to put away, so many things to give away and to put up for selling on my Macari platform. Like there was so much that I was doing that I needed to just take a step back and say, okay, I'll work on this day by day. And that's what I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will be back on here soon. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I would love for you to stop by again and subscribe. That would mean the world to me if you're not. And if you love videos like this and you want to see more like this, I will have a spring one. You know that and probably a summer or maybe spring summer. I just love to decorate. Love, love, love to decorate. And there'll be more coming. Okay, bye now. And be hey guys, I did change up my dresser. You know, this is what decor's, you know, decorating's about. So I put that Paris jewelry box away because it was just too bright for what I was going for. And it didn't match any of the other colors in the room. And I'm waiting for my thinker guy. He's going to go in the back there. And that's it. So that's what I did on the dresser.